In this video, we'll cover building rate sheets in Service CEO. There's really three main types of rate sheets, hourly, commission, and a combination rate sheet where an employee is paid both an hourly rate and a commission. In this example, we'll build all three. We'll start by clicking add new. You always have to name your rate sheet. Let's call this one Junior Field Tech 3. For our franchise customers and multi-division companies using business units, please note that the business unit field is static and that it can't be changed. So make sure you set the rate sheet up at the appropriate business unit the first time. When you're setting up a rate sheet, all you need to do is tell the system how much the employee is paid per hour. That's it, I could hit save right now and save this. However, if you're interested in using our job costing module to determine profitability and profit margins, and calculate overhead, you can also plug your overhead rate in here. To learn more about that, please be sure to check out the job costing training video. An hourly rate sheet is this simple, a name, an hourly rate, the overhead rate if you choose to calculate it, and we hit save. I would then just go assign this to an employee, as you've seen in the payroll over video, and will be covered again in the implying rate sheets and viewing payroll video. And this is now gonna calculate $20 an hour for whatever employees assigned to this rate sheet. Let's build a commission rate sheet now. Let's say it's for our senior sales rep too. On a commission basis, we're gonna come down to the bottom. Down here you can see all of the items that are in this particular company's price book, both products and services. You can filter this out using your categories. You can set your items on an individual basis. Or you can bulk update. So if I'd like Service CEO to update all of my items in here, I'll click select all, select all 69 items in this view, and then I'll choose my mode up here, tell the system what the payout should be, and hit update selected. You'll get this pop-up that says this record will affect many records and will take a few minutes. Just click OK. You can continue to make changes to your rate sheet here. Just keep in mind you're not going to see your bulk changes until we come down here and press save. You can now see all of the items that are paid a commission. You can also build a commission book that doesn't just pay one flat rate. So not everything has to pay 25%. We can make changes, again, individually for these. And we can also do a combo book where maybe you get $20 every time you sell a laptop battery or backup software, but 25% on everything else. Come down here, save this again. Keep in mind when you are making changes to your rate sheet, you'll be asked to pick the effective date. This operates just like the effective date does throughout the rest of Service CEO. Great, so right here we've now built a commission only rate sheet that pays 25% on everything except these two items get a $20 flat rate every time an employee using this rate sheet is assigned to a job as either a service or a sales rep. Finally, we can build a combination rate sheet. Let's say our senior field tech three gets an hourly rate of $20 an hour. We calculate $5 an hour overhead, but he also gets 10% on all items in here. We'll choose 10%. We'll decide to bulk update and we'll click update selected and hit okay. When we come down here and press save, the system is now going to have saved our combo book where my senior field tech three gets $20 an hour as well as a 10% commission basis. This concludes the video on building rate sheets in Service CEO's payroll module. Please be sure to check out the next video, applying rate sheets and viewing payroll.